What's going on, YouTube? Did you miss me? It's your guy, Mr. DCYLP, and I got another video for y'all. Now, today, I'm going to take you guys back into CadWorks Live and show you how I get my art ready for cut and sew for a manufacturer. So, let's go. Okay guys, this jacket right here, it's a bubble jacket. I designed it earlier this year. I'm gonna get a sample made. All right, like I told you guys before, whenever you're doing stuff like this, cut and sew or uh, selling clothes or what have you, uh, sometimes you don't have to look for people, they'll come looking for you. All right, so this one company located in Pakistan, they you know they, they, they follow me on IG. They've been in my... Uh, They've been in my inbox, my DMs, haunting me. All right, so I'm going to give them a shot. All right, the sample's going to cost me a total of, from what they said, $75. That's including shipping and everything. All right, so, I, so now I'm in the process of sending them, you know, all the fine details of what I need for the jacket. All right, so as you guys can see, this is just the base. Okay, this is pretty much just how everything uh, should look. All right, we got the gold zipper, we got the DCYLP on the left chest, and we got the logo on um, on the left sleeve. Now, there's other intricate details that has to be given, you know, to these manufacturers for them to actually, you know, uh, get you somewhat you know what you're looking for all right so that's what i'm going to show you guys right now all right so i'm just going to go here to add text and we're going to just start with the shell okay the shell of the jacket okay just click okay shell put that up here Minimize it a little bit. Shell. I need a horizontal. Okay, where's my horizontals at? Here you go. Horizontal is just a line, all right? Grab it. Oh. Sorry, can't see that. Let's go to undo. All right, we just want the line. Just want this line right here that we just. Okay. Shell. So we want our shell to be 100% polyester. Okay. Now they know what material we want for the shell. Simple enough, right? Self-explanatory. All right, now we got that label. Now, just duplicate the horizontal because we're going to be putting that all over the jacket. Okay. I'll go here. I'm going to go with. Okay, duplicate that. I'm just duplicating the things just for. just to make it easier. Just change it in here. 
let them know what we want it. How we want it, excuse me. And that's going to be the DCYLP logo on the left chest. That's going to be uh, embroidered. Embroider. And we want that to be... Two point five by uh, let's see. Let's go with a half an inch point five zero. All right, y'all. So that's the that's gonna be the dimensions of our front chest DCYLP lo uh, logo in embroidery okay so now they know what size that is okay now I'm gonna duplicate this and describe how we want the left sleeve logo. Okay, now that's going to be, I want that to be a leather patch. Okay. Leather can't even, I can't even spell right y'all. Okay, leather embossed patch. Okay. Now we got that all set. Now do something for the zipper okay we want a gold zipper and we don't want it plastic either we want it to be metal okay nothing against plastic y'all don't don't get me wrong, don't take my words literally. This is just how I, this is just what I want, how I like, you know. I have I have pieces with plastic zippers. Uh, I just want this one to be metal, okay? So, go. zipper okay let's click ok good to go there alright now these cuffs okay even the size of the cuffs I'm going to explain what size I want the cuffs to be Okay, so so I want my cuffs to be let's duplicate this. I want my cuffs to be two and a half inches. Two 
Now, uh, I'm thinking about putting, you know what, yeah, I'm going to add something to this real quick, y'all, duplicate, I want to add my DCYOP logo on the right. gonna do embroidery I don't want that embroidery unbroidered excuse me I want that screen printed all right so just duplicate that so they can see what I'm pointing at okay and here once again I'm just gonna explain what I want screen printed Printed. And let me give them a size too. I don't want that to be very big, so let's go with let's go with one inch. All right. Nah, go with a little bigger. Let's go with one and a half inches. Okay. Good. Now, okay, so now everything as far as, you know, I got what I got the material that I want the shell to be. That's for the, that's for the green and the brown. I got that I want a leather patch on the left sleeve. I got that I want my left. Uh, chest logo embroidered and I gave him the size the zipper okay I want it to be gold and I want it to be metal my cuffs I got the, the size I want my cuffs to be now we're gonna go with uh, the filler okay this is important y'all duplicate Okay, pay attention. The filler of the jacket, I want to be goose down. Goose down feathers. Okay, I'm gonna go with 700 goose down okay now the 700 goose down feather it's just a, uh, a numerical number you know representing you know uh, how much down you want in a jacket now on the low end they start at 500 and on the high end uh, it's 900 so you know obviously the more goose feather you got in your jacket you know the heavier it's gonna be and the most likely the more it's gonna cost you all right now I have a jacket that has 700 goose down in it already that's a Columbia jacket I love the jacket 
I'll never get rid of that jacket, but now I want my own jacket, okay? So I got everything lined out here. Okay, now all we do now is I'm gonna export this. All right, let's name it DCYOP. bubble jacket okay now that's out of the way that's gonna uh, that's gonna save to my computer so when it's time for me to e email this to them uh, everything is you know ready to go now we can delete all of this because we don't need it anymore Delete that, gone. Delete that, gone. Okay. Let's just delete all of this. Okay. Now hold on, y'all, because my phone is about to die. So let me charge it real quick. Okay, boom, we give it, we're back. We got some juice. All right, so, the, so let's just continue on. I don't need any of this no more, like I said, because we already saved that. We're going to send all, the, all those details to them. Okay, delete all this. Now what we have to do is we got to send them I can delete the whole jacket because I don't need it. Okay. And as you can see, I made this jacket piece by piece. All right. Now what we're going to do is send them our two logos that we need on the jacket. All right, let that gather itself real quick. Okay, you know what, let's just delete this real quick. I'll send that. Y'all didn't even realize that. My camera pretty much stopped on y'all because my memory was full. But anyways, I downloaded that DC Wild Peak logo to my PC so I can get it ready to send to them. And um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the same thing with this one. So just select it. Go to File. I'm going to go to Export. We already named it the DC Wild Peak Leather Patch. We're going to send it as a PDF file. Okay. So you click OK, and that's just gonna, that's pretty much just gonna save to your PC until you're ready to send them all the information in the email. All right, y'all, now that's pretty much it. Um, you know, as far as, you know, when you got your design, you wanna explain to the manufacturer in detail how you want everything to be. All right, so you send them this picture, and then during the email, you know, if you wanted to add any additional things, you just put that in the email. Like, as far as like, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have drawstrings, elastic draw, uh, drawstrings in the back. Excuse me, in the inside of the jacket on the bottom at the waistband. So if you want the jacket to be a little bit more tighter fit on your waist, you know, you can go ahead and and pull those cords. But that's something I don't need to show you guys that. I'm just gonna send you. I'm just gonna send them that information. Uh, via email all right and um so they said you know to get this jacket completed it'll take like eight days we'll see and um you know once i get it i'll show you guys as far as you know how everything came out the quality if everything uh came out the way i expected it to come out and even if it didn't 
you know, we'll discuss that as well. So if any of you guys out there are looking to get into cut and sew, that's pretty much how I do my cut and sew. Once I come up with the designs, you know, I pretty much just send the designs to the manufacturers, you know, just let them do their thing. Now, once again, like I said in the beginning, this is not a manufacturer that I'm used to doing business with. All right. Uh, they found me on Instagram. You know, they've been hounding me. So I just I said, hey, what the heck? All right, I got seventy five dollars to burn. Let me just pay this seventy five dollars. What can I lose if it's fire? You know, I got a new fire jacket, you know, and if I feel like, you know, putting it into mass production, I could put it into mass production and sell some. If it's trash, hey whatever it's trash you know maybe i'll give it away or maybe i'll just keep it in the archive it's you know something that i designed and you know i've seen actually you know come to life all right so it's never uh, it's 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 never really as bad you know as you think it is i mean everything is you're not going to hit everything out the park i mean sometimes you could take an l and then other times you, you know you might hit something out of the ballpark all right so once again this is a new um, manufacturer that I'm going with. I'm using this phone to record, so I don't even remember. I don't even remember the name of the actual uh, account, the Instagram account. But we've been going back and forth for a few days. And honestly, to tell you the truth, they're getting kind of annoying because <laughs> they keep messaging me uh, all day, every day, and wanting to know what's going on. And, you know, I've just been busy with other things. So I still have... Uh, I still have some other things in process that I'm getting made as well as we speak. I'm getting some patches made and stuff like that. So I'm waiting on those and I've been going back and forth, you know, with those particular uh, manufacturers. So I got a few things in the works right now. All right, y'all. And, um, you know, once everything is done, I'll show you it. All right. So once again, this is how I get my artwork ready for manufacturers to do cut and sew and if you don't know what that term cut and sew is it's pretty much you know starting from scratch you're not using any blanks uh you're pretty much uh the manufacturers and you you know come up with a design and everything is to your specifications as far as the material as far as the length as far as the size and so on and so forth oh i forgot i'm gonna order this size in a one x all right, so I told them as well, I want this jacket in a 1X American size. And also, yeah, it's a great point. When you're dealing with uh, foreign uh, manufacturers, make sure you let them know what size you want your samples to be in. Because, you know, like China and stuff like that, their sizes, are, they run different. All right, so make sure you're very, very specific on what you want or you're going to be mad when you get your product back. And you think you're going to get a freaking one action, you end up getting the size like it's going to feel like an extra small. All right. So before I end this video, make sure you guys, as always, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up notification. Make sure you hit that bell. So when I drop my next video, you don't miss anything. And I hope you guys are enjoying building your brands. All right. And until next time, like I always say, choose your own path. Let's get it. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basically, pay attention, stay alert, and remember, choose your own path.